Welcome back, guys, to Golden Sun Dark Dawn, where we continue on with the puzzles of Warrior's Hill with one thing already risen from the ground. This structure will be awoken as soon as we do a little bit of crushing action, I think. Spring! For puzzles are within gears that need to be sorted out. With that said, where's this going to exactly lead me? Okay, I could just hop along the top. Well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, but how do I make it onto the... Oh, yeah, I go around the other side. And it looks like that will spring me over from the other way. I don't know if I want to go down or not at this point. So that's going to spring me back again. Right, we've made it round to another gear. Let's make sure it ends up to positive in the right location, eh? Might be best for us to get this side of it, just in case. It might decide to stop itself somehow. Right, push that one in. Push, push it in. Do I have to use move? It won't let me push it. So that starts up the rest of the system, which does what? The gusting from below. Time to raise another structure. That one looks like it has a door. Of course it has a door. That's how you get in. Don't you wonder how the people in town at the moment are thinking? That village. They're just like, what the hell was all this rumbling? What is this guy doing in our place? It's pretty much wrecking it at this rate. We're not trying to. Oh well, if everything risen, what can that really get for us? And also, I haven't really checked things down below. I've more or less done this puzzle solution wholesale without searching for any more goods. I was gonna say, there's gotta be more stuff down here. Right, we got an Aegis shield to Eolio, right. Eolio! A fairly big upgrade. Who's it better for? Not you, obviously. Yeah, feel free to equip it. What's it do again? Boost criticals. It's never bad on a physically minded person. Right, better give the other shield, because I think it is better. To you, sir. Well, the smallest defense margin. Now where are we going? Alright, so that just takes us up here. Back to where we were. But I wonder if there's any more artifacts here to gain. Or have I seen every side of this place? Questions unanswered in some respects. I don't know where I'm going, but there are earth lizards to take care of. Alright, Giant Axe's meltdown's been learned. Normal attacks did not too much. Hagbone Mace's terror strike's been learned as well, though. We'll take that. We're not going to get around to the wish. Here comes the meltdown straight away. He's got a different attack animation for it, doesn't he? Everyone wields their weapons in different fashions. Sveto's reached level 32. Right, let's go up here. Takes us to the first exit. Right, we've broke through here now, and then that's the way we got to the gin. This door is locked. There is a key though. Who's got it? <laughs> Sveta. Who's the watchtower key? We're gonna claim whatever this power be. Still wondering if there's more treasure in here, though. 
We'll go up our own special route and find what is this. Is that it? A strange treasure to be sure. The treasure of the wash tower? Is this what will guide us? I'm not doing anything a rock tells me to. Could the treasure have been replaced? Unlikely. The door was locked when we arrived. No one could have got in without the watchtower key. And the watchtower apparently only appeared after the eclipse began. Even if someone wanted to steal the treasure, this place is pretty high security. And if the watchtower was still buried, even we could have not got in. Some treasure. So now what? We ask the rock to guide us like, hey rock, no good in around here. Maybe we don't understand it, but it was hidden away by the Gen A. It's important. As usual, Carrot is right. Let us have a little faith in our forebears. As it happens, I have some experience with ancient treasures. Let's just take it with us. Alright, if Grand says we need it, that's good enough for me. Excellent. Let's grab it and move on. Whatever it is. It's a Chica Slate. Matthew and Party got the third eye. Alright, well, we came up there randomly, because why not? Let's go back down inside again. I wonder if there's any more places for me to get to where there's treasure. Treasure. Treasure is good. Sky Dragon and some Minor Tauros. Okay then, if that's how it's going to be. Probably best to Beast Form, which is the first one on the list. Go attack the middle one. If you both attack the middle one and then we get a wish well. Just in case you got a spin strike or something like that. Obviously not. Sky Dragon only does one damage to Beast Form Sveta. We must get some really big stat gains, to be honest. That really seemed to be a downside. Sieve is being used. Attack risen by 93. Well, that's fine. We've got answers for that. So what I was thinking, I guys might just do it with a maul. Yep, yeah, Rampage is going to be it. Quite fine. Better mass of the Beast Knuckle as well. 7939 experience points. Right, level 34 for Matthew. Eolio has met 33. Reef has reached level 31. Tool has reached level 33 as well in the back party. We got some Water of Life from that. I mean, it's pretty good just coming back in here for that, not just treasure. The only thing I'm worried about is if I didn't check everything down here. Yep. I came up one side, sure. I gave the Dragon Mail to Eolio. Dragon Mail, how good are you? Right, you're better than Storm Gear by two. Resist water and fire. Better than the Planet Armor by eight. Better than the Elvish Shirt by a turn. Well, Matthew's in front party. Dragon Mail on to you. And that on to you, sir. Goodies gained. Really have to make sure to check these things more, eh? I went in here, obviously, he says, not too sure of himself. That just gets me up to then go through the other thing. To take a lift up to the top from another section. Did I actually check this out before? When the world is shadowed, the watchtower will harness Z's rage and reveal itself. Basically telling me I needed to unlock the water. Oh, well, I did that. It's fine. Right, 
one way down, one way up. We've already got the treasure chest here. So luckily going back in gets ourselves another lovely set of mail. Can't complain about that. Just need out now. Alright, we've got the gin outside. I think we're ready to leave Warriors Hill. But more importantly is what we unlocked over here. Right, let's find out what that flush of water did. Because of course I'm thinking, oh, I've missed something because I let the lower part of it flood. Uh, no, that's the wrong way. I'm actually follow around the puzzle, haven't I? Good at going through doors, me. They call me the analog stick on a 3DS master. It's not really helped me with much of my pushing that I've been doing at certain points in time. Oh, I do think I couldn't push that cog down. Alright, so the water flowing. We pushed over at least a rock here so we could... Oh, we couldn't even go down there anyway, could we? Or could we? I think we probably could have actually. Whoops. There was something down there. Oh wait, that's just how the water flows in. We haven't missed anything! Good. We have gained something though. Phew, lucky. There's no way to get rid of that water then. Would that mean if I didn't push the rock across? I would have missed this. But Matthew can now summon Coatlis Coat oh Coatlisu? Coatlisu. I'm gonna pronounce it like that. Coat Liqua. Free Mercury, free juice to <laughs> summon that one. Well let's get it ready. The coat liqua. Where's the cotton? There's no use me trying to ever pronounce anything like that right. It is not gonna happen. I say as well, are there any enemies in Haran Channel? I need promise summon, you know. Bring forth the bad guys. We're getting summons like crazy lately. Kinds of, oh yeah, we can fight here for a second. We'll probably get in a battle on the world map. The Dark Scuttlers with the crazy music. Right then. You're a faster summoner, aren't you? The goddess bearing the water of life. Doesn't actually sound very attacking. Okay, it's not. It is on party members usage. Okay. Let's hope for spin strikes, eh? Oh, that's good. Meltdown. Spin strike as well would be nice. Uh, no. Not, not quite. The sunset burst comes out. Here comes our summon them. Pouring that water! Oh, we hadn't actually finished yet. No! It lasts a little bit longer. Normally the white screen means we're there. Oh, we'll get that one done properly in the future. Alright, we can recover hit points and we're still recovering hit points. A heal over time ability. That's going to be ridiculously powerful, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is.
Oh, now you get Spin Strike. That'll finish that up. The resetting of Jin Begin. That's the thing, if I haven't seen the summon before, I don't know when the timer goes. All the same, the main animation of it was on the main screen, so that's not too bad. Or maybe it wasn't. I'm confused. Much confusement. It's a great summon. We'll see it again. Trust me on that. If it heals over time, it's just going to be amazing. Right, Harlan Village. We've sorted things out in terms of Beat Warriors Hill. Is there any resolution to that story apart from just moving on? I knew something could happen on the mainland, but I didn't think it would reach us here. I was a fool, I know. I see that you will be the ones to watch over the world. Nope, that is literally, you've just done this town, move on. There is nothing more for you here. Pass by, move on. Did wonder if there was a gin somewhere on this continent, but we did walk most of the places. Right. So, that said, let's not head to the edge of the world. Should we continue to skirt, skirt the borders here? I mean, if I could see the actual world map proper, that would help. Right. So no one's gonna get a proc. No one's gonna kill a thing. Let me see what the hug bone mace can do yet. Too bad I'm not still healing up randomly. Not enough to kill that guy, eh? Or that one. Oh, whoa. Oh. This guy's a bit more hardy than I would have thought. Maybe I've underestimated them. Right, Lizard Brute's party is down. Wondering how close we could get into the mainland. There's a weird noise here. There's a whirlwind. Hey! We found a place, Tonfon. Do I want to go here next? Oh! Ah, Matthew, is it time to go? Yes? No? I don't know where I am! Or where I should go next? Tonfon, what are you? Your ship looks a little beat up, but I have to admit I'm impressed by how smoothly she sails. Emperor Unan recently sent some Sunan ships south northward. A little late getting home. Ah, so you're the enemies of Morgal. Interesting. To your very own continent in some senses. Well, not continent, but you know, part of Wayard. Well, if that's the case, what level are the enemies? And you've avoided the eclipse too, so go you. Total defense sounds sucky. Eight damage, oh yeah. Ah, the enemies aren't too strong. They just have an annoying ability. Yep, total defense. They can stick you for quite a while, really. That's gonna help, though. Well, all the same. Continues to learn his hagbone mace from the hits, doesn't he? Not much experience gained. Well, who knows where to head next? You know, the travel log tells you stuff. Friends just finding land near the edge of the eclipse and talking to leaders. Well, let's speak to the Lorder, leader of Tonfon. The Lorder, the leader? I guess they're both the same thing. I'm gonna cast Fireball! No, oh, it didn't work. It's ice. I should be able to hit that. Anything down here? Nope. We shipped to the Pride of Sana. 
but as a Lemurian refitting, we're ashamed of how much better they were. Give me the goodies. Some more Kirin water. What we can do is explore the world. We've got wind on the water, bad things going on. Ko is no longer Emperor of Sana. Thank goodness, the old Emperor was a fiend and a warmonger. Oh, so they've kind of sorted out things before Morgan never needed to be worried? Kind of confused by that now. Someone's snoring. Oh, well, someone's always so bright, but now I can look right at him because Lady Moon blocks the light. Emperor Unam wants to stop the fighting between Lord Sun and Lady Moon. Oh. Sounds kind of important. Can't talk to this guy whatsoever, though. Anyone can heal our nation is Emperor Unan. He's wise and kind and loved by his people. Okay, that he may be, but still. The old Emperor Ko loved war. We bought everywhere, and our young men were sent off to fight. Emperor Ko died a few years ago. Luckily, King Wo was away, and Unan could become Emperor. King Wo of Kao Cho? Lucky, lucky Unan. That would have been a uh, bloody takeover, that's for sure. Let's continue to explore. We might find a gin somewhere. Have you seen the captain from Lemuria? He's no mere trader. He carries himself like a warrior. Is Piers here? This legendary island city is home to an advanced civilization isolated from the world by surrounding an ever-present mist. Time passes slowly for its citizens who sometimes travel the world in powerful ships of distinctive design. Piers may be here, or someone else maybe. Right, I will take a look at your artifacts. Oh, you're both weapons and thingy. Sham Shear is new, but is generally kind of a downgrade. A Swiss sword. It's also new. Again, a downgrade to most. A dragon axe. Do I own some of these or not? Is there anything that's just clearly better than his... Ooh, magical cassock. It's definitely better than... Oh, we've still got... We've still got a kimono on. And we've got silver sabaton boosts luck and defense. They're pretty good. Okay. That's the case to sell the kimono. And then equip that new chest. That'll help you out a bit. Renews PP2. And still the sabatons we want on someone too. Is anyone not wearing leather boots? Everyone seems to be fine for that. We don't want to sell this, and you're the only one who can wear them? They're just better versions of the one we've got in some respects. And you can wear them too, I take it, yeah. I'll give it to you for now. I messed that up a little bit. It's all good though. Right, should we take this opportunity to finally do some selling of some goods? Because we haven't really got round to it. And the Olio's probably got like the main selling stuff really, because the broad axe here. Basically all your original clothes are going. Your cheap pirate clothes, except the leather boots. We'll hang on for them for now. We need as much space as we can get. And we need to use some stat ups. Third eye and the blue orb are being held by her. I'm not even sure we need stuff like Spark Shuriken. There must be some people just holding gear for no reason. The Grievous Mace here. That can go. Cross one can go. We need it at any point in time, we'll get it. That's the whole point of the buyback. 
Alright, the mystery blade can go, I guess. The spiked armor can go. What's wrong with the spiked armor? Is this really not that good? It's just really not that good. For how much it sells for, it had me a little bit confused, you know what I mean? Its sell value was way above. Way, way, way above. Well, now we're rich. You can't say I don't have money. The Mer Master, the Cursed Sword, that can go too. You never know, we might want to buy it back at some point. But if we do, we'll have the cash, won't we, at this rate? Right, we seem to have at least dropped some of our item menu, and now we're up to 80k in cash. Can't complain. Oh, treasure chest. Strange ship coming recently. Apparently from some place called Lemuria in the south. I never heard of the place. It was probably far away. They have a tree of merchandise, though. But they do, do they? Don't tell me you've got another artifact here. A mint. Right. We really should use those stabs. They would also solve some of our inventory issues. And anything into the buildings, if that gets me goodies, I'm quite happy to do it. Princess Himi of Yamata supposedly has amazing powers. Her parents are heroes, so maybe. Maybe what? Himi, this young girl is daughter to Susa and Kushinada of the Yamata. She is currently unconscious of a mysterious ailment. Anything hidden behind here? Just well craft furniture. To the east lies the land of hermits and sages. Emperor Ko once sends men there for the secret of immortality. People that were maybe affected by the Golden Sun too? What do you mean, Lemuria? We have Tom Fon enjoy the light of the Lord's Sun the year round. Well, I'm more interested in that fire gym that's right there. Tom Fon, this is the capital of Sana. It is known for its exquisite architecture as well as being a center of fishing and commerce. In the western lands, the sunlight is gone. We find it quite eerie. Well, I find it quite interesting. We hear about Sana as this warmongering place. We get there and it's like a... Totes fine. Well, built wooden box, that is. I want to speak to this guy. Yeah, too much to carry, so I'll wait for the ferry boat, but it never comes. How do we get Mr. Fiery Jin over here? Is that you stacking up stuff in there? You got a gin on your roof. It's a fire gin. I want it. Can I use grit to get it, maybe? Let's say you don't have any, like, artifacts like rings or something? No. The Sun Saga is still being kept up in there. A non-missable, if you wish to read it. Right. Is there a way for me to jump up on here? And Co and Woe both gone, Sun is peaceful at last. It's a relief to not be at war. It is, is it? Well, if you can't instantly figure out how to do it, maybe you could douse it down. I can see their hearts. I mean, casting douse on it seems fun to me. It wouldn't like that. No, can't grip it, I imagine. Ah, we can get on the roofs here. Maybe the case in some respects, but where's that gonna lead me later? I can slap this guy, can't I? Or grip him. Let's wake this guy up. Oh, the boat! Yeah, the boat! Oh, the boat's gonna make a roof! Oh, uh oh, it's already time to get the ferry moving! Ah, oh, nice little puzzle. I was thinking the first thing's like, yeah, slap him awake. Near distant synergy. They've got a 
load that now, so that's going to take them a little bit. Aha! Fiery Jin, Fiery Jin, Jin to win. Apple. Apple. Apple, apple. Aha! The Mars Ginny Tinder has joined you. It's set to reef. Tinder, this app on your phone is something you shouldn't be looking at. Its inimitable fire spirit is encountered in Tonfon. Tinder can restock life's fire with perfect reliability in an unconscious ally. Something to revive you, eh? Right, it's been set to... You, you've already got a 8 gin class, so what we need to do is switch here. Alright, that will make you even more powerful and ever better. So you went to, of course, your angel state again. We have four frontline pure classes. Nice. Renan became emperor only recently, after a great civil war, after the Emperor Ko's death. We lost many Sanan territories and our colonists were killed, Sanan Emperor Unan. War is never good, is it? Probably find the Sun Saga in those books, I bet. The bookcases. Right, here's another spot I can get on top of a roof. Why? Rumors say it's a really valuable gem hidden in Lady Hinaku's room. I wonder how valuable. Ah! Sanan Royal is mother to Ryuko and Ho Shu. Besides having lost her husband in battle, both her children are missing. We kind of saved them, but we don't know their fate. Bit problematic. Just a little bit. Doesn't seem to be anything in here from first viewing. Just empty pots. And you know you're supposed to fill your pots with goodies? It's like trick or treating. Gotta annoy people by doing it. Well, we have ourselves another little jumping puzzle before we go anywhere inside anything. I look at it, the only route is along this way. Where will that get me to? Okay, that's a way back. But back from where? That's what we really have to find out, isn't it? Hello! Ah yes, the Lemurian Captain told us to expect you. Please enter Lemurian Captain again. We must not strain through shadow, but stay in Lord Sun's light, as Emperor Unan instructs us. Sure. Still, Lemurian Captain? Lord Kuan and Emperor Unan were as close as any brothers I've known. Then came the Morgal Revolution. Lord Kuan. If Salem Royal was killed during the battle in which Morgal won its independence, ah. So there was always gonna be bad blood when there's brothers being killed, eh? Is this an audience room? I think it might be. You wish to meet with Emperor Unan? Yes. Who is it? A wise man. Pardon me, but are you not the Master Sage, Cladden? I'm most pleased you have come. Please enter. Thank you all for coming. We have heard much of the wisdom of Emperor Unan. It is a great honor to meet you. And I in turn have heard much of the knowledge of the great scholar, Clayden. The honor is entirely mine. May we assume, your majesty, that you already know of the eclipse across the continent? I had heard legends of it from a Morgal storyteller once. Nothing could have prepared me for the reality of it. When Sana occupied Morgal, I visited my brother there for a time and learned much of its culture. As I understand it, we have whoever activated Luna Tower to blame for this catastrophe. Luna Tower's entry, how's that been updated? The ancient edifice is sealed away in the Blitz Gruens, not anymore. It radiates power in a manner similar to the elemental lighthouses. It was sealed away because of the forbidden energies associated with it. We bear some of the responsibility, though the consequences are beyond even our wildest nightmares. Some of the responsibility? Well, it was the two Padrang who were really responsible. 
Tupalang? As in the self-styled Zenith tribe of Tupalang? But the one who actually turned it on it was Sanan boy named Ryu Ko. Uh oh. This ain't gonna go very well. We know this now. This member of the Sanan royal family triggered the grave eclipse in the hopes of saving his sister Hoju. After his father was killed in Morgoth's revolt, he escaped to Teluar village with Huzan. Sad face time? Poor kid. He was in a pretty wrong situation. No one can really blame him for what he did. Ryuko and his sister. Alright, we had heard that Ryuko and Hoju were somehow connected to the Sanan royal family. More than connected, obviously. This young girl is Ryuko's sister. She was held prisoner in Belitsk in the aftermath of Morgau's revolution. She seemed to inspire fierce devotion all who know her, especially her brother. One that can bring the downfall of the world, in fact. What is the matter, your majesty? Ryuko is my brother's son. So, Hoju is my niece, yes. But at least now I know that both were alive before the eclipse. I sent a ship to Morgal to rescue them once we had news that they were there. And the ship? It has not returned. We were separated from them just before the eclipse, and they were able to avoid the monsters. I don't imagine there was any way of knowing. I've got a good feeling about it. I'm sure they made it. I want nothing more than to see them alive again, but prayer seems my only recourse. In any case, as Emperor, I cannot be seen to show too much emotion, even over the loss of my own kin. But enough about my woes. May I be introduced to your companions? They are descendants of the famed warriors of Vale. This is Matthew, son of Isaac. Ah, the warriors of Vale. If you please, your majesty, my name is Karis. I'm Tyrrell. And I'm Reef, your majesty. I am not related to the warriors of Vale, but please call me Amity. I'm not related either, as you can clearly see. I'm Sveta of the Fang Tribe. I'm just Yolio. I wonder what his entry says now. Yolio! Young Pirates succeeded his father brings as a scourge to the Eastern Sea. As a fire adept, Eolio has an edge in piracy. That is what I really thought. Free spirited like his father, he is also loyal and respected by his crew. He can set ships on fire from distance. It's kind of ridiculous. You won't honor me with your presence. Now I must know, Craydon, what brings you and your companions here? What you seek? Your Majesty, would you be so kind enough to let us see the items your army brought back from Morgal? It's just a facade! Uh, uh, your Majesty? What? This was part of Emperor Ko's so called hidden road, by which he brought treasures into the country. I can think of no better use for them than to give to those who fight to end the eclipse. You would grant us treasures without even asking us why we want them? Are you not curious? I have looked at you and heard you speak. If you can bring this eclipse to an end, no treasure is too dear. Free treasures! Right, treasures, eh? That's rubbish! No, wait, there's something at the bottom of the empty pot? It's just somebody's gum. Matthew gave Lord Sun's ring to Eolio. Now that's got to be a talking point. And the Umbra Gauntlet to Eolio. Something of sun, something of moon. We can't equip them. Proof against light. There's Lord Sun's ring boosts criticals. We should give that to you, Matthew. It helps attack as well. Alright, the Umber Gauntlet. Can only be worn by you, but then it was taken from more girls, so it kind of makes sense in a way. 
Take an apple for now, Yelio. Right, the Umbra Gauntlet is now equipped. Proof against light, did it say? What does that mean? I'm sure we'll find out as we continue on with Golden Sun, as the treasure's taken and simply straightly equipped. We continue on with our story, knowing that it can branch anywhere. Our story can happen anywhere at this point in time, but we've got ourselves a whole landmass to explore. And the ocean to the right as well. So tune in next time for more, and I'll see you around. Who knows where we'll go. Bye-bye.